morning guys so it's day two in Tagaytay and we are here at Leslie's restaurant where we are going to have brunch there's Ate it's her restaurant she owns it Leslie's <laughs> <laughs> so um, yeah it has a really nice view and stuff I'll show you guys later we're just trying to find a seat and we are going to eat and this is what the view looks like behind Leslie's it's a little bit like foggy um, and it's a bit cloudy today it's not as sunny right now so yeah this is what the view looks like and apparently Leslie's has one of the nicer like views here in um, the guy's eyes so yeah that is that and I think that is the Ta'al Ta'al that one? yeah Ta'al Volcano Ta'al Volcano, Ta'al volcano. Ta'al volcano. So, Go, Ma. Where is it? Tour guide. Yeah, I'm just wearing the Ta'al Volcano and we're eating lunch at Leslie's <laughs> Mom's a vlogger now. And this is the Leslie's restaurant in Tagaytay. So it's at Aguinaldo Highway, Silang Crossing West Tagaytay City. And um, this is the menu. Just showing you guys the prices of each thing. It's around about, depending on what you get, around 700 pesos or 300 pesos. And you guys can also get some sets, which start from 7,000 up to 15,000. Yes. So got seafood, you got chicken, veggies, got noodles, dessert shakes, hot drinks, cold drinks, milkshakes, and these are their specialties, which is bolalo special, bolalo original, pina potok na palapla, palapla, pisipata, sopo at sa Alige, alige, Sizzling baked mussels, patatine special, saring saring sinung sinung ba sa bilao, saron de Leslie, ginatang si Tao Hipon Halagasa. Um, sizzling with seafood, Leslie special, agawang boto boto ng baboy ramo, and tapang baboy ramo. So that is the specialties of Leslie. Okay, we're gonna order now. So it's a little bit clearer now, as you can see. Um, it's still overcast a little bit, but um, it's a little bit better compared to how it was before. We already ordered our food, so we're just here at the back looking at the view as well as um, taking some pictures. Look, mom ordered fresh coconut. It's so big. And this is the sabao of the bulalo. So the bulalo meat and corn and gula and everything is going to come later. But that's just a sabao. It kind of tastes like milaga if you guys have tried milaga. So, yeah. <laughs> so this one is my favorite, which is the crispy kong kong. And it actually comes with like little pieces of the shirt at the back. We've got the rice here. So that's the family rice. This one is the crispy pata. And here we've got the bulalo. So bulalo with the noodles and stuff. And this one is the hito. Their favorite, which they've been wanting to eat for a while, which is hito. Yeah, hito is like a... What is that one? Hito, catfish. It's a catfish. So hito is a catfish. It looks like that. Yeah, it's sort of yeah. So this is all our order. And kain na tayo. Oh, Ate is never ending order. This is adobo. She's had adobo chicken, uh, adobo <laughs> babo. <laughs> Her favorite is adobo. Yeah. Adobo order. Kapung bulalo, favorite yan. Yummy. Yes, 
great theme to myself What a wonderful world Thank you Hey guys, so we're here at the Great Thai Highlands and I'm just going to show you guys around. So my cousin Leslie um, is talking to an agent right now, just checking out the place and stuff. I think this place is exclusive for only like people that live here or like members only or something like that. Um, but yeah, you just can't get in here unless you know someone pretty much or yeah, live here or something. I don't know. But yeah, it's very nice, very pretty here, very classy. and. Um, yeah, I'm just going to show you guys around. So we came up from all the way up there and this one is like the golf club, I'm pretty sure. And my cousins right now, they're at the sales and marketing office talking to the agent. Let's have a look, see what we can see. There's a the view over there. More views of um, Al Mountain. Very pretty. Actually, it would look really nice if it wasn't like an overcast kind of weather. If it wasn't too cloudy. I think that would look very pretty. So, I'm just gonna follow them into the head office and see what they say. said that this is like a little carriage um, that you have to ride to get to your house. You can drive if you want to but it's longer but if you want to take a shortcut you just ride this carriage and then it's going to take you all the way down here and it's going to take you to your property. So as you can see there's like a little train here that's going to take you down all the way there and that's the houses and stuff from the Tagaytay Islands. So that's the golf course, that's the golf club and I'm pretty sure it's like houses and stuff over there so it's very very big and very pretty it's very pretty Hello. Hello. You want to uh, see the place in the fall we have a showroom Okay Two bedroom apartment here in Tagaytay Highlands would look like doing a room tour 
and this one's going to cost you 13 million pesos but I don't think the interior is part of it so that's extra this display home of the place and yeah this one's a two bedroom one it's really pretty and that's what your view your fake view would look like but this is all dressed up I like the design of this house it's very pretty so yeah this is a two bedroom again here at the nighttime house well, uh, Oh wow, do you have your own caddies? Yeah. Okay, so this one is the Sycamore Heights location in Tagaytay Highlands and this one is the clubhouse. So this clubhouse has like a little pool if you wanted to go swimming and stuff. It's very pretty. So this is the land that we're looking at and this is 339 square meter. They said that you have to build a house that's like 5 meters high just so the house is still up because this land is going a bit down. So when I said that it was about 8 million to build, that's just the land itself but with the house it's an extra 5 million and up so approximately you're looking at about like 15 million pesos. Was it 15 million pesos? Yeah. 15 million right? Yeah, around about 15 million pesos to build a house here at the Gaitai Highlands. And originally when I was doing the video, we were up there and now we're down here. So we drove all the way around. So, um, yeah, when I was showing you that building at the top, that's where the train was or the tram. It's very pretty here, very nice and cool. Um, yeah, I like this place. And yeah, we're just talking still about building houses and how much it's going to cost and stuff. to this place. Uh, I'm not sure how much the membership is, but it's pretty expensive. guys are a member or you know live here etc you can have your like children come out here and play it's very pretty the children's playground Okay, so I've lost my cousin. I think they're going this way, which is back to the reception, hopefully, because I don't know where I am. I'm lost. And no, this wasn't the reception, so I have to go all the way back. But this one is actually the sports center. So this is the sports center here in um, Tagate Country Club. 
and here you'll also have like a lap pool and stuff I think a gym etc inside so yeah I don't want to go in because I might get lost I can't find my cousin anymore so I don't know if I should be heading back or I should be waiting for her here So we're having Jollibee while the oldies are back at home. They're gonna eat the leftovers. <laughs> Me and Adil Leslie didn't want that. So we're having Jollibee. And today I ordered the C3, which is the spaghetti with chicken. And this is again 115 pesos only. So I paid 230 pesos for chicken. Time tile. 